Hey, so something um, that I want to do besides hiking videos is uh, book reviews of strange and unusual books. Um, and so for my first one, I chose the Stranger Things, first official Stranger Things novel, and it's called Suspicious Minds. Um, and I read this because the show, the new season, starts tomorrow. I mean, I started reading this a few weeks ago. I didn't just finish it in a day. But um, I kind of read it to just get into the mood. But that really, <laughs> really wasn't a, a good idea because uh, it's basically nothing like Stranger Things at all. Uh, but what did I like about this book? I like the cover art. <laughs> it reminds me of books from the 80s. And then I like the, the back. It says breathe sunflower rainbow. I might just like display that part on the shelf. Um, I like that it was really quick and easy to read. And um, it was readable. I was able to read the whole thing. But unfortunately it was also pretty boring. Um, it's a young adult book, which I didn't really realize when I bought it, um, at least that's how it comes off to me, um, feels like something maybe a sixth grader would read, um, all the characters and just the story in general, it feels like, um, like an episode of Scooby-Doo, kind of, the characters are just, they're just like cartoon characters, it's about Eleven's mother, um, in 1969 and 1970, but, I don't know, Mm, yeah, it was a very boring story, and it was like the author just had a list of like all the important historical, uh, cultural events of those two years, and like just had to mention them all. So that was kind of, kind of silly, and um, there was some other things. It was just like you could tell she wasn't alive, the author during that time period, because they just didn't talk like. You would imagine they talk like now, not like kids from the 1969, 1970. And I'm saying kids, but they were college age characters, but they came off very young and um, kind of stupid. They're always like making little plans and it was just ridiculous. But I mean, you know, you might like it. That's just me personally. I didn't care for it. I was hoping for something better. Unfortunately, it disappointed me. There's no atmosphere. Like, I wouldn't, if I read this, I wouldn't even think really it had anything to do with Stranger Things. Like, if you gave me this book without the cover, you know, just like, hey, read this book, see what you think. I wouldn't have guessed until they mentioned Eleven or something or whatever. Eight. Eight's in this as a child. Maybe if you're an 8 fan, maybe you'd want to read this. Um, yeah, but um, it's a nice uh, collectible object, maybe. Because, I mean, it is an attractive book. That's about all it has going for it. Um, but if you like um, stories about kids in lab experiments, <laughs> if that's even a like uh, type of story... Um, I recommend this one instead. It, it's nothing like Stranger Things, but it's a good science fiction book about uh, kids in a lab. And it's called Anna to the Infinite Power, and it's from 1980, I think. Um, 1981. I read this as a kid, and I read it as an adult, and it was enjoyable both times, whereas reading this as an adult feels like you're reading a kid's book. This one doesn't doesn't really feel like a kid's book. Um, well, I mean, I guess it does, but you can enjoy it just as much. It's about cloning this girl, Anna Zimmerman. She's a clone. I won't tell you anymore. I don't want to ruin the story for you, but I really recommend it because it is it's a really good book. This not so good. Just my opinion. <laughs>